hello? Hello there. Yeah, who the fuck is this? Well, okay. Not Brian Dunn. Well, I, I, just, I could already I was just, tell uh, it wasn't Brian Dunn. Yeah. I, I was sent by Mr. Vickers to ask when he's going to get his fucking money. I don't know who that is. Okay, hey, then. Doomer Berries. I enjoyed seeing you getting your shit pushed in by Geek Thulu, by the way. That's God, not me either, you, you fucking idiot. God, you are dude. fat and retarded. Who busted Duh. you right in the face, dude? You look like a bitch. You look like an absolute bitch. Who the fuck, who the fuck who is the Doomer Who wears a mask to a fucking fight? Like, you fucking faggot pussy. You got your nose hey, busted. Pussy. You got your I nose mean, busted and you ran away crying like a bitch. I in literally don't know car, who that is, you stupid in your, schizo. In your rental car with the license plates uh, shown, by the way. Uh, and Geek Thulu said to himself, it'd be very easy to get your identity and say you came there to assault him. Uh, and so you're a nobody to me. Uh, and I don't know who you're talking about. I've never heard of a, a Vickers this, in my life. This retard thinks I'm Goomer bait. This is hilarious. Well, I mean, you're even stupider than him then. I was trying to give you a little bit of credit. Dude, you can't beat me at blood sports. I'm the king of blood sports. Who the fuck are you even trying to fuck with right now? I'm messing with an idiot who couldn't stay in the United States and is now going to have to leave Mexico. No, I'm but not going to. Like wait, 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 time, wait, 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 wait. Why would I have to leave Mexico? Wait, he hung up. But I didn't understand. Why would I have to leave Mexico? If you guys knew everything that was going on, you would be smiling. Uh, and I hope you're smiling already. I'm not leaving Mexico, nigga. Ever. Except I do have one trip planned, actually. I am going to the United States from February the 15th through the 18th. But I'm not going to tell anybody where I'm going. And I got my passport right here. And I'm a United States citizen. And there ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it. So... Just guess where I might go. I might go to Memphis. I might go to L.A. Maybe I set up something to see my son by then. Maybe I just go and do whatever the fuck I want, like I always do. But I will be missing. I, I just want to put that out there. Um, it, it's Thursday through Sunday, the 15th through the 18th. I will be returning to the United States during those days. Um, and if you think you can find me, find me. I mean, you can't, but I'm not even going to give you a slight hint. You know what? As the days get closer, maybe I will give you a slight hint because I'm, I'm that kind of fucker. <laughs> a doll wolf sent $1 on Rumble. So wait, you're not allowed in the United States and you're getting kicked out of Mexico? Right. Well, first Where are off, they going to send you? The fucking moon? Well, first Make off, it make sense. these people don't they understand that there's an international treaty. Um, unless you're a stateless citizen, which I'm not. Um, they have to let me back into the United States. Like there is no like, oh, you can't go back to the United States. Oh, yes, I can anytime I want. I could get off this air. I could sign off right now and go book a fucking flight and fly to fucking Dallas right now if I wanted to. And they have to let me in because I'm a United States citizen. It's in the goddamn Constitution. It's in international conventions signed by every country on fucking earth, you retard. But I'm not leaving Mexico except for those three days. So... Do we have anything else? Like, I actually think I'm glad King of Paul docks this number because, like, it's a throwaway number. I can show you. It's it, it's text now. Like, I, I can show you on screen. It's text now. Like, it's a throwaway number. Like, I can just literally just delete it anytime I want. So, like, it, it means nothing to me. Um, But I really did enjoy Cuban Doomer, Doomer Cuban, whatever the fuck his name is, getting his fucking shit pushed in. Geek Thulu fucked him up, dude. Geek, can we get you on the show, brother? I know you're listening. Geek, can we get you on the show? I, I want to hear what it sounded like when you broke his nose. That's what I want to hear.
That's what I want to hear. But I don't know anybody named Vickers, and I don't owe anybody any money. That's my statement on the record. And if you don't like that, suck my dick. Period. Yeah, Colin Geek. Man, I followed him on Twitter. Let me see. I want to talk to Geek Thula. Man, fuck. Y'all are really fucking my shit up, dude. Like, I promised this fucking review. Now I have to find... It was a while back when I followed his new thing. Like, so... Um, if somebody just links his Twitter, I think we could get him on, honestly. I'm about the content, dude. I don't give a fuck. Like, I already said in the middle of the goddamn street when a motherfucker was trying to beat me to death that I'll die for this, and I wasn't kidding. I don't care. I'm about entertainment. I'm about doing the damn thing. Now, some of these other people act like they are or try to portray like they are. You've seen me in the street bloody beaten. You've seen my fucking orbital bone crack. You've seen both my eyes blacked. You've seen motherfuckers try to hunt me down in every way which possible. You've seen them try to take away my payment processors. You've seen them try to do every fucking thing they could possibly do to take me off these airwaves. And guess where the fuck I still am? They've tried everything. And thank God for Rumble, I want to say. Because Rumble definitely didn't have to let me get away with what I did the other night and I shouldn't have done that but I did that to prove a point it wasn't to be racist it wasn't to attack black people or Jews or anything like that it was to show oh you can restream my content and hit me with hate speech when I didn't even have any hate speech but you're gonna let this guy stay up when he's he's reached he's literally just restreaming my show like that's why I did that it was a comedic bit, which I think most people understand. Now did I go a little bit far too far? Well, you know what? I was I was raised in the Howard Stern era. Go look up Howard Stern and Blackface. Go look up some of those bits. Uh, you know. Do I wish maybe I wouldn't have said a couple of things I said? Yeah. But you know what? You think you're gonna stay on kick and I'm not? Fuck you. Wrong incorrect i will go so fucking wild that they will have to take you off kick period and they did for two months well i guess it's a month not two months this they gave you the same penalty i got which you deserved <laughs> like so like um i didn't want to do that but it's like, this guy's getting away with just stealing my shit every single day. They're banning me on just, like, nonsense. And, okay, so I had to go a little hardcore. But it was comedy. It wasn't about racism. And we had plenty of racist respecters in chat, I'm sure. And by the way, almost everybody on Earth um, is racist to a certain degree. I, I don't think that's a secret, by the way. Um, that's the natural biological setting of human beings to be tribal, to be racist, at least to a slightly slight degree. Um, but, but what I said and what I did was not about racism. It was not about, um, insulting blacks or insulting whoever. It was about, okay, they want to play, let's play. That's what it was about. So, you know, I actually am from Memphis and I hate to cite my black friends or whatever, but like, I'm not racist at all. I live in Mexico, nigga. Like, uh, the guy who just brought me my fucking beef jerky and chips. And I was like, hey, mi espanol es muy malo. Oh, oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Oi, oi, it's okay, Americano. No problem. 
Like, uh, when are you tough motherfuckers come live in a foreign fucking country? Like, fuck you. And you thought you're gonna run me out? I'm not leaving Mexico. Unless it's in a goddamn body bag. Period. And quote that. The Memphis monster's not leaving Mexico unless it's in a goddamn body bag. And I'm not scared. And it's like Kanye said, I'm not scared to die because I know I'll get to see my mama again. And that was one of the realest things. God, that really struck me so hardcore. That really struck me so hardcore because I don't give a fuck about dying. I literally give zero fucks about dying. So, you know, do what you want, say what you want, but uh, that's the absolute truth. <laughs> Let's try to call this faggot back. <laughs> he won't answer, pussy. Hello? Oh, uh, yeah, what's up, brother? How's it going? Who even are you? You strawberry? They're saying you're strawberry in chat. Nope. Here is Peck. You're what? Here is Peck. I was what? I think my name is Serious Peck. Here, here respect? Here is Peck. Well, spell it, goddammit. I can't fucking understand you because the fucking audio is clipping. S. E R I O U S space P A C K. Okay, it still sounds like Catch you later. It still sounds like faggot shit. Sounds like <laughs> then I blew him out at the end again. God damn, they can't fuck with me. God, I hate to be so cocky, but like, I hate to be so cocky. But I made this cocksucker literally spell out his name, and then I still said, literally sounds like faggot shit, and he hung up. Dude, did they know who I am? Do they know, like, the things I've, I've said and who I've fought on air? Andrew Wilson said some shit to me the other night. By the way, I disavow what I said. But I, I defended him for two hours on his son dying. And then he comes in here and, and talks all this shit about me. And I said, well, I hope your whole fucking family dies, bitch. Which I do not hope that, by the way. I don't hope that. But there ain't nothing I won't say on these fucking airwaves. Like, there, that, there's a reason I have an audience and will always have an audience. is because I don't give a motherfuck. Now, should I have said that? No, I shouldn't have said that. And obviously, I even told him after, obviously, I don't want your fucking family to die, you idiot. But, like, you go hardcore. Dude, there's nobody that's going to go more hardcore than me. Unless it's King of Paul and talking about, you know, fucking Jim's future kid up the ass with a dildo. Now, I won't do that. I won't do that. I promise not to do that. You know, the pedophilia, the stuff like that. Former associates of mine he used to be into lollycon and and pedophilia and all that stuff. I won't do I won't do stuff like that. But there ain't nothing else I won't do. There ain't nothing else I won't say. You know how they were. You know they were traumatized as a teen, and oh, um, that's why they like child porn and um, that's why they hang around promoters of that and stuff like that no I won't do stuff like that uh, but you won't fucking defeat me in like an un like an unregulated blood sports match I'm undefeated period it's never fucking happened ever. And the only one L, and I'll even give this because I want to be honest, the only one L you could possibly give me 
It was against Medicare the day I came back when my face was smashed in. And I was so fucked up that I didn't even know where the fuck I was. And I was still trying to be nice. But fuck being nice. I knew that already. So, you know, that was my mistake. That was my mistake. But I don't, I'm not going to make that mistake again. Oh, I had him rolling. Oh, if you go watch the first half of that debate. Oh, Cinemaz is right, dude. I had him on the ropes. I had him fucking nailed on COVID. I had him nailed on everything. That's why he's so mad, because I fucking exposed him hardcore. And his, you know, fat, sloppy wife. But, like, I had him, like, even drunk, even fucking, like, trashed out of my mind, I had Medicare. The supposed king. And he had no answers for anything I said, except take the vax, goy. That's all he had to say. And I guarantee you, he took the vax. And we know he did. Andy Worski did. PPP did. And, you know, we don't want to bring it up, but Gomelson did too, because he wouldn't have been able to travel to Canada unless he'd taken the vax. So all these people took the vax. All these people took the vax. I didn't take shit. I'd rather take a bullet than take the goddamn vax after they didn't let me see my fucking mother when she passed away. Gobinson took it. PPP took it. Worski took it. Medicare took it. They all took it. Right up the ass. All the while they were preaching opposite. Well, except for Medicare, you know. Because he was so scared by the uh, Corona Chan and all this bullshit, which was just a flu. They're pathetic. And I'm not even trying to go that hard in on Goblinson, but he definitely took the vax. I mean, we know that. And I could prove that if I wanted to. But, like, Medicare showed the vax so fucking hard, it's crazy. You didn't see that from me. My mother was lying dead in the hospital, and they moved her to hospice care. I've told this story before. And I said, I was willing to take the vax, by the way. I said, if I take the vax, can I see her now? Like, is that, what's, is that what is stopping you from letting me see her? Because if so, I'll just take it. Because I knew she didn't have long to live. And I just, I wanted to be with my mother. And they said, no, there's a CDC regulation that when they move you to old folks home, basically, hospice care, whatever, that you have to wait 10 days to see that patient. No matter whether you have the vax or not, it had nothing to do with the vax. I said, I would take the vax right now to see my mother and hold her hand while she passed away. I'd kill everybody in this fucking chat to fucking have that chance back. Are you fucking with me? It was a government regulation. It was bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. I sound like Ali Jamal. That's what stopped it. It wasn't the vax. It wasn't because I didn't take the vax. They said, no, it's a 10-day waiting period. And my mother literally died on the 10th day. I didn't let her die alone. But I goddamn sure hope some of you motherfuckers who spread that lie goddamn die alone. And I even said, I swear to God, I told him, I said, if it's about the vax, just fucking give it to me and let me see her. But it wasn't. That's the fucked up. That's the craziest thing. Like, it wasn't even about the vax. It was about like, oh, this is just a 10 day uh, bureaucracy waiting pair we had because we let so many old people die because we're stupid, uh, you know, a year ago. And so now we have to wait 10 days to let you in. That's what it was about. I would have taken the vax. Absolutely.
not because it merited, you know, taking. It's worthless, obviously. But, like, to be there with my mother when she died, there's nothing on this earth I wouldn't do except fucking procure child porn for my father like King of Paul allegedly did. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, uh, you know, threaten to prep Jim's baby with a fucking dildo to see her die. I wouldn't do that. But there's nothing else. There's really almost nothing else I would not have done. I'm serious. Like, I'm just dead serious. And I'm being as real as you can fucking be right now. Um, uh, Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. That works. So Tom in about 20 minutes. That works better, actually, because, like, I'm on one right now. Um... Uh, but like, it's like Vax or, you know, you know, I knew my mom didn't have much. You guys don't. They moved my mom from the hospital. If they left from the hospital, she probably would have got better first thing, but they cut her off. They moved her to this like secondary care unit. I forget what the fuck they call it. And then they moved her to like hospice, basically old folks home. I had to actually... I was there when they did that, and I had to, and they were not picking her up right and, like, you know, caring for her right. I had to pick my mother up out of bed and put her on the gurney. <clears throat> and I... And I said, I... Don't worry, Mama. I said, I swear to God, we'll see each other again. And by God, we will see each other again. It just wasn't what I thought it would be. It's, I have to, I have to, um, I have to cut the camera just for a second, just because, like, like, this is what these fucking, uh, derelicts want, they, they want to lie about me and have me. Know, flip out. Everything I just told you is the 100% God's honest truth. And this happened to me. And I wasn't even a super anti vax guy, but I didn't want it, but because I thought it was bullshit. But like after that happened, I said, I would rather fucking take a bullet than take that fucking vaccine. Because my mother had to fucking die alone. My mother died alone because of their bureaucratic bullshit. So you wonder why I hate the United States government? That's why. I don't want to live in the United States. I fucking hate the United States. Some part of me deep down still loves it because I'm an American. I can't help it. But I fucking hate that country. I fucking hate the people who rule that country. And I fucking hate the people overseas who have influenced our country into the absolute goddamn gutter. And I should just calm down now because <laughs> I'll really say some things that would just not be appropriate. Um... But, um, yeah, that's what happened. And I've told this story before. I don't know if I've ever told it in this, like, emotional of a way. But, uh, you know, when you get through mowing your yard and they call you and they say your mother's dead, would you like to come see her dead body? Um, Yeah. 
That's something you don't ever get over. There's nothing on this planet that would ever get me over that. And there's people with worse stories than mine, believe it or not. And so I don't want people to sit here and feel sorry for me or anything like that. Um, it's tragic what happened, but there are people with worth, worse stories than this, believe it or not. There are people who were married for 50, 60, 75 years who didn't get to hold the hand of their loved ones while they died. And they had to watch through glass, if that. Oh, this cocksucker wants to go on. I guess he thinks I'm weak now. Who even is this? Hi, Dusan. This is Darwin from Choice and Warranty calling on a recorded live. Who the fuck are you? Sir, in order for me to be of assistance, I'm no, going to ask you to refrain from no, using such language. No, I'll say whatever the fuck I this want, is, you farm bitch. Fuck you. Sir, I'm trying my best no, to be of assistance today. No, you don't assist me with today. shit. You don't assist me with shit except sucking my dick. For quality and training purposes, yeah, yeah. I'll train, be releasing the call. Train to have a yourself nice day. to suck my dick, bitch. Wrong time to come in with the spam call, I'll just say. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I did not even imagine this show taking this type of turn. But, um, you see people who are fake. You see the fat fuck anytime he decides to come on. You see the crackhead. These are fake people. I don't come out here and fake it. You know, yeah, we turn up for a promo every once in a while. We hype shit up. This is real shit that really fucking happened in my fucking life. And the... Somebody I'm not supposed to talk about knows everything I just said is the fucking truth, by the way. And the fact that they... The... I just need to be careful with what I say. And, um, because unmentionables were there for it and they know exactly what happened. And the fact that they take glee in this now, I'm going to take a lot of glee later on. So fuck you and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> 